Hello everyone, this is Hunter Wolf and welcome to another exciting vitamin and mineral enriched edition of Vector Crush. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to create soft clouds inside of Adobe Illustrator CS4. Now typically in Illustrator we're all used to that pretty tight vector line art that looks like this. No jaggies, no nothing but smooth lines. But I'm going to show you how we can use the effects menu to change that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to get rid of my layers because I don't really need that for this project. And I'm going to create a background for us so we can focus on the clouds. And it's a little easier to see clouds, of course, if there's a blue background. So I'm going to double click on the swatch here in the toolbox. And I'm going to color this bad boy blue. What you can do, by the way, with this selected, if you want, is you can put it on its own layer, or you can lock it by going to Object, Lock, Selection. This way, I can't select it by mistake. It's just locked. It's on lockdown. All right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some really cool tricks here. With our ellipse tool, we're going to create some clouds. I'm going to draw an ellipse like this and change its color to a very light blue. And I'm going to double click on this watch again just to change the blue a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is actually duplicate this quite a few times. Now there's a little shortcut available for you on the keyboard. You can hold down either the Alt or Option key and then click and drag to make more copies of something in Illustrator. Watch this. So once again, Alt or Option. And when I click with the uh, mouse, I can then overlap them because I'm just making duplicates. And I'm doing this to make my clouds. I know what you're thinking. This ain't no cloud, man. But it will be. It will be, my son. Patience, child. Patience. Now I'm going to select all these guys and show you a really nifty panel called Pathfinder. And I'm going to click this first icon right here to unite these guys to make one shape. And kablam! Clouds. They're all one shape now. Now the fun part. I'm going to go to Effect, and I'm going to go to Stylize, and I'm going to choose Feather. Now, by the way, if you don't see these options, that simply means that you don't have anything selected. So if you don't have anything selected, it won't know what to add the effect to. So I'm going to click on it, go to Effect, Stylize, Feather. I can click Preview to see what it's going to look like. And right away, you see I have this nice effect. And I can use these arrows up here to add more or less to that effect. So 0.5 inches looks great. I'm going to deselect it. And now you have some nice soft billowy clouds. And you can just put your head on it and go to sleep, man. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate that cloud. And I'm going to scale this one down and put that one over there. Duplicate this one, put that one over there, scale it. Actually, I'm going to flip it by grabbing the handles and just going the opposite direction. That's a quick way to duplicate things and change the way they look. And I'm going to put this one here and I'll scale that one up. And now you have soft billowy clouds that were created in Adobe Illustrator and not Photoshop, which is where you would think you'd have to go to get this kind of effect. Well, until next time, guys, check out some of my tutorials at VTC.com. Learn Photoshop and Illustrator and Painter and Lightwave and all kinds of stuff. Because I loves me some software. So anyway, talk to you later. This is Hunter Wolf, out.